Hey, we're back at Waikiki Beach in Honolulu, and if you look outside, there's trees and lots of birds. But I don't see any canaries. Or do I? Secure Ninja. Hey everyone, it's Andrew from Secure Ninja TV, back again with Bob Monroe from Hacker High School. How are you doing, Bob? Doing great, thank you for having me. Excellent, welcome back. It looks like you've got another couple of really cool tools to show us. I have a canary box and we have a canary token to talk about. So would you like to start talking about the canary box first, please? Tell us all about it. Uh, canary box is made by a company called Thinkst and it's a honey pot. It's basically a Raspberry Pi that is set up as a, a honey bot, or excuse me, honey pot. And it can, you can set it up to be pretty much anything you want on your network. It's basically just plugs in, ethernet comes in here, and then it, uh, you configure it fairly simple and you can make it be whatever you want it to be for your network. What kind of example servers or networks could it look like? You can make it look like a Microsoft Exchange server. You can make it look like an ISS server. You can make it look like a Linux server. You can make it look like a, a, a database server, whatever kind of server you want it to be. Oh, you could name it something juicy like human resources server or something like that, or credit card storage device, or anything at all. Excellent. Well, um, this Canary device, not only can it look like it's a network, but it can do something special as well. It creates uh, activity, so it looks like there's real users and there's real tra uh, traffic data going back and forth. Um, it, there's actual email that go back and forth. It's not legitimate email. There's not actual users built inside there, uh, but it looks like it's a full-blown network. So a full honeypot in a box, um, and I suppose we could uh, capture some packets as well, and we could analyze what an attacker is trying to do to our network. It'll alert you to let you know that somebody is trying to access it. Now, what you would normally do is have something else that would monitor exactly what's inside the box. Excellent. But it's just basically a trap to capture people inside of it. Excellent, so you'd have something like Wireshark running at the router, something like that. Correct. Excellent. Well, that's the Canary box, which is awesome. We are also going to talk about Canary tokens. Tell us a little bit about those. Hey, Canary tokens also created by Thinkst, and those are free. You attach them to whatever file you want to, for example, Excel, Excel spreadsheets, Word documents, PDFs, PowerPoints, uh, uh, database files, whatever, and you just add that token to that file, and then you tell the token what you want the token to do. For example, I would attach it to a Word document called Master Passwords, and if somebody accessed that, moved it, touched it, looked at it, modified it, whatever, it'll send me a text or an email saying, hey, something's happened to this and this is where it went. So you could have a file on our honeypot, somebody downloads that file, a, a document or PDF, and as soon as the attacker tries to open it or edit it in any way, it sends out an alert to us. That's awesome. Now we have a little demonstration set up. We don't have a PDF, we don't have an Excel spreadsheet. We have something that's more modern. What do we have here, Bob? Well, what we have is we've already set up a QR code, excuse me, a uh, uh, canary token setup. And you've established the canary token, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to access the file that has a canary token on it, and we're going to see if it alerts you that on, it's being accessed. On my phone. On your phone. So... So in real time, let's see if it works. We need to scan the token and see if I get an email. Oh wow, so it's taken us to a website, the QR code worked. On your phone it's taken us to a website. And let me just refresh my phone. Wow, there it goes. So I've received the alert on my phone. That took about 15, 20 seconds. Um, what else is going on with this Canary token? Well, besides the fact that they're free, anybody can use them. With Hacker High School, we teach our students how to use these Canary tokens, because they're free. And you can use them for all kinds of different documents and whatnot. How they can use these to help protect their network against anybody that's trying to access their network, move it to include insider threats, outside threats, whomever. It's a very simple process. So once again, you're not just teaching people how to hack, but how to protect as well. And that's what we need. We need more and more cybersecurity experts in our country to protect our networks. Excellent. Once again, Bob, thanks very much for coming back. Thank you for having me, Andrew. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe and to like. We have a lot more content coming from Hawaii. I'm Andrew Howard from Secure Ninja TV. See you all again soon.